There's a tug of war going on between the two Koreas, acting as a drag on the momentum for dialogue. The South wants to hold a round of reunions for war separated families, while the North is protesting upcoming joint military drills between Seoul and Washington. Hwang Song Hee reports. South Korea says its proposal for a round of reunions for war separated families next month still stands, but it will not be making any new offers to North Korea. The Unification Ministry said Friday the four week preparation process for the event will begin as soon as Pyongyang says yes. Once there is an inter Korean agreement to hold a reunion event, the South Korean government plans to begin the necessary preparations. The reunions could take place as late as the end of next month, since the planned joint military drills between Seoul and Washington has been pushed back to the first week of March. But a postponement of the training exercise may not be enough for Pyongyang. North Korea's ambassador to the United Nations in Geneva on Thursday protested the upcoming drills, threatening another Korean war. Otherwise, if, if we are standstill, and if we are in the state of pause, then there might be another Korean war, the second Korean war in the peninsula. North Korea's state-run Nodong Shimun newspaper on Friday also urged South Korea to end what it called a rehearsal for an invasion that is destroying the mood for dialogue. Seoul and Washington say the annual drills are defensive in nature, but Pyongyang sees it as a practice for war. And with North Korea sitting on South Korea's offer for more than two weeks, analysts say the current tug of war could lead to a loss of momentum for better inter-Korean ties. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.